actually we grow into our allergies. Genetics plays a big role into that along with our exposures and infections that we come across. Actually, a positive allergy test often is wrong. There's about a 50% false positive rate. Additionally, soybean is one of those allergens that we often outgrow. Actually, uh, fatal food anaphylaxis is a real problem. Uh, some people talk about food allergy and they really don't have the same thing. They dislike it or such. If you actually have anaphylaxis, it's critical that we avoid that food and we have epinephrine on hand in case of an accidental exposure. Actually, nowadays, patients with egg allergy can take the flu shots as the egg part is really out of it. Hives, also known as urticaria, certainly can be caused by allergy to food and other things, but so many causes of hives aren't allergy and include an infection, uh, things like sunlight, heat, cold, vibration, uh, viral, bacterial infections, and autoimmunity. Actually, food allergy is more likely to cause anaphylaxis, more of a multi-system reaction. Nasal allergies are caused by things we breathe in, so it would be pollens, molds, danders, dust mite types of things. That is, unless you're putting the food up your nose. Local honey really doesn't do a good job because the dose of the pollens that you're getting is way too low. That's why a lot of the drops under the tongue don't work very well either. But I have to say that this is one tasty treatment to try. Sinus and ear problems are due more so to inhaled allergy problems plus viral and bacterial infections. The milk sometimes gets blamed because of mucus but avoiding the milk really doesn't fix people up. The indoor plants have pollens that don't go very far and we really don't have much for mold growing on them. And it's the stuff outside that overwhelmingly gives us our symptoms. Essential oils have definitively been shown not to help allergies and asthma. In fact, though, uh, essential oils are great allergens of themselves, giving contact dermatitis, rashes, and for most allergy and asthma patients, the irritation from the smell will further set things off. <laughs>